We're incredible biological computers. We just don't know how to operate our computer systems. People are getting out from wheelchairs. People are getting their eyesight back. Tumors are disappearing. Kidney failure, where people are on dialysis. They don't need dialysis anymore. How is this possible? So I wanted to share with you about breaking ancestral curses. And this term ancestral curses is something that is thrown around a lot within this kind of healing community. I'm not sure whether it is the best explanation, terminology, description, whatever you wanna call it, because we're not really just talking about ancestral trauma. And curses are really not the right way to describe something that is some kind of healing trauma held in your DNA template. Because for me, when we're talking about curses, we're talking about spells. We're talking about curses that one human being has put on another human being, or one human being has put on multiple human beings, or multiple human beings has put on one human being, or multiple human beings on multiple human beings. And that's usually a curse a spell is usually put on to create havoc and chaos in someone's life and someone's reality. Not too long back, uh, we were dealing with some stuff on a level of um, witches. We were dealing with some witches in the quantum and uh, one day we woke up and our cat, her, the insides were on the outside of her body through, through this witchcraft, you know? So this witchcraft that can be created has physical effects in this reality right now. It has effects in the quantum field throughout other time space coordinates. When we're talking about healing, we're talking about information that has been encoded into someone's cellular template, someone's DNA template, someone's computer code. Because we as human beings are biological computers. We're incredible biological computers but we just don't know how to operate our computer systems. That's the thing. You know, if someone gets ill, we're told that we should go and hand our power over to some external force, like a doctor, who can give us some kind of medication or an operation. When someone has a disease cut from the body, quite often that disease comes back because you can't cut the emotions out. You can't cut the information held on the DNA template, on the cellular, template inside the memory bank of the computer system out, it's held there. So even if you cut a for example, most of the time it comes back, that's because you're not dealing with the actual cause. You're dealing with the, the symptom. The symptom is the and the cause is the traumatic event that either happened in childhood or the teenage years or 30s, 40s, 50s, or in a past life reality or a future life reality. And once you get into the quantum, there's no past and future. So they're not really generational curses, but they come from generationally back in some circumstances. So sometimes things down the ancestral line through the grandparents and the great grandparents, that can get passed down in your DNA template. But what also happens is you as a soul having a human experience are also a soul having multiple other experiences right now in the quantum field, sometimes as humans, sometimes as other beings. And some of these experiences are really positive and beautiful and magical and powerful, and they instill inspiration and motivation and they catalyze strength and courage and power and all of the good stuff. But there are experiences that you've either had in the so-called past or are having right now in the quantum field as a soul having multi multi-dimensional experiences and some of them are kind of destructive and, and, and chaotic. If you've experienced some kind of rejection trauma, guilt trauma, fear trauma, abandonment trauma, if it's not been dealt with, it's gonna be downloaded into your biological computer and you're gonna keep carrying this with you on a soul level. So your soul holds information too, as well as your DNA. You've got your spinal column, which houses your central nervous system, which transports electrical information. Now, there are so many different ways of actually dealing with this kind of trauma. So let's say, for example, you had an experience 7,000 years ago, and in that experience, you were in a community, and the community turned on you, and 
They ostracized you from that community, so you felt some kind of abandonment and rejection. I guarantee that as you've incarnated lifetime after lifetime, not just on Earth, but other planets too, that will have stayed with you, that rejection trauma, that abandonment trauma, unless you've dealt with it. And you'll carry it and it will explode again in another reality, maybe even more potently, giving you the opportunity to deal with it again. But unless you're in, in a community where there's aware humans, like you've got a really aware mum and dad that say, listen, You've had this experience 7,000 years ago. You really need to go in and deal with this trauma. Let me guide you. And they take you into some kind of mensive experience, some kind of past life regression, or they deal with it in some other way because there's different ways that you can deal with this stuff and access this information. But you could go back to that, to that point in space time on a particular timeline and you could change the data because it's just data. So you could go back in and recode that timeline by going back in and changing the experience that happened through visualization, through imagination, etc., through intention. And it works, it's powerful. What you do once you've changed it, you, you, you'd have created a new piece of code. All you've then got to do is download that piece of code into your biological computer then. The other thing is you can completely change and shift the timeline. You could collapse the timeline. You could completely eradicate it. And you could do that by taking the piece of your soul that was having that experience out from that reality field. So you could open the heart of the human being that you're working with, i.e. your soul, a man, a woman, a child, and that other reality. Or maybe some kind of other being on another planet you don't know. You could go back 50 million years to space. You could go back a lot more. Wherever that reality field is going to be held, we don't know until we go in and we start exploring. But once we find it, we can change it. So we can open the heart of that soul, having that experience in that reality and open up the heart of whoever you're working with. It could be yourself, it could be a friend, it could be a client. And then you bring the frequency from that soul back into the now space. And we call it soul absorption. We bring one piece of the soul into the now space. So they're not there anymore having that traumatic experience. Now, once they've done that, the trauma that's held in the DNA template can rise to the surface. So they might go through a bit of an emotional process for a few weeks, a couple of months. That's part of the deal. Some people call these healing crises. I think that term is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Why would you want to call it a healing crisis? I prefer to use the term process because it's a process. Why would you want to even bring the frequency of crisis into the situation? Because words are spells, right? We're always spelling, we're always taking action, and we're always recoding reality with every thought, every emotion, every feeling, every piece of action. Okay, so think wisely, feel wisely, speak wisely, and realize that you are a quantum mathematician, and that everything that you do is recoding reality, and on a mathematical level, because the universe speaks in mathematics, the universe communicates in code. Now, another way that you can change things is when you're playing out a pattern right here in this reality. So someone comes in and communicates with you and you notice how you're about to respond because you've already been made self-aware of this programming. So someone says something, you have this self-awareness and you, you're about to respond or react in the way that you always reacted, but you catch it because of your levels of self-awareness. So what you do is you, you say something different or you don't respond or you don't react. What happens is you break the program in mid-flow. Now, when you break the program several times over, the code just starts to recreate itself and you create different programming, different patterns because you've taken a different course of action. So you can reprogram in the moment that's another option. That's not always easy, but once you become self-aware, then you have the opportunity to do that. Another way of you completely dissolving the programming is by being heart-centered. When you're in your heart, when you are locked and loaded and completely living from this beautiful space, and this is your life compass, by the way, your heart is like a brain. Your gut is also like a brain, where you get your intuition from. This isn't the best brain. The best brain is the heart and the gut. But when you are living in your heart, when you're being an observer of your own reality, you're not lost in your head, you're not lost in those thoughts. When you're lost in those thoughts, there's a 0 0.25 second window between stimulus and response. The ego is rife, judging, blaming, defending. When you're in your heart, you take away all of that stuff. And 
There's no future in the past when you're living from the now. So by default, living from your heart, you strip away the programming from any past lives and future lives, any experiences that you've had as a child in this reality field. It becomes null and void. Every now and again, it tries to pipe up and, 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 and bring you back up into the head. But as long as you're here, steadfast in your heart, you can observe the ego at play and you simply don't buy into it and everything just dissolves. The programming dissolves. These are different ways that you can strip things away. But the fastest and the most efficient way is to electrically charge the cells, to electrically charge the cellular memory, to electrically charge the DNA template. And you do that with frequency and code. Remember our bodies are mathematical. Our bodies are musical instruments. We have computer code in our cells, our DNA. And when you zap that computer code with electricity, it just fizzles or dissolves or eradicates, completely wipes out the programming with the electrical charge. And when you see me on videos where I have my right hand over the back of someone's neck, my left hand over the front of someone's forehead. I am electrically charging the cells, the DNA template in their body. I'm bringing frequency and code from my right palm in through the back of God's mouth, up into the pineal glands, out through the forehead, and I run this frequency around in a circular motion. And each time the frequency runs through the pineal gland, the master cell in the pineal gland downloads that frequency into every cell in the body and electrically charges it. And what happens is the human being has a download of light, a download of biophotons, a download of geometry, a download of code, and it's electrically stimulated. And as that electrically charged packet of data, packet of information, packet of light surges through the body, it wipes out the old programming and new light, new frequency comes in. Another download of data, which is positive depending on the intention that I've set when I go in to do this work. You see people shaking, sh people bending, people twisting, and that's because their body and brain is being downloaded with new light, and the human being is simply absorbing, downloading this new information stream. And as the old information stream spins out of the body, it's charged, it's zapped out of the body, the body reacts. Sometimes it bends, sometimes the people fall forwards or backwards. But this is what we do at Star Magic, and this is the fastest way to change anything. You know, when I first started my spiritual journey, I had an awesome teacher who took me into hundreds of past lives, and we recoded many, many past life realities, which helped me in this physical reality. But it's such a long way of doing things. It's such a long winded way around of getting to the same result where we can create change in 30 seconds to a minute, sometimes less. This can take you 30 minutes, an hour, sometimes longer. It's like people go and have some kind of coaching or they go and see a psychologist. And what the psychologist does, it keeps you in your head, it keeps you more logical. And you never really get anywhere with that stuff. I mean, psychology is a waste of time, okay? So psychology keeps you in the program. When you go and do past life regression, it can get to the same result, but it's still a mind-based way of doing it, even though through the mind you're taken into the ether, into the metaphysical, and it works. It's still long-winded. But what I'm sharing with you now is the fastest way to get the job done. And this is what we teach and share on our facilitated training experiences. We've trained thousands of people in more than 55 countries now, from China to America, from the UK to Japan, from South America to France, everywhere, all over the world. Human beings are being upgraded with this new healing technology because that's what Star Magic is. It's a healing technology and it's the fastest, most efficient healing technology on planet Earth. It came from the stars. I was downloaded with this information over nine months when I spent time at mystery schools underneath the pyramids in, in, in Egypt, in meditation, two hours every day. Before that, I went to Alpha Centauri. I was meditating in a pyramid, in a garden in New Zealand, and I got picked up by, by a Lyran being called Derekwai in a very, what I call a space pod, a little spacecraft. They took me through a portal in about five seconds to this beach 
where I got out and, and met all of these blue Lyran beings. I'd never heard of Alpha Centauri, I'd never heard of Lyrans. But somehow I knew that that's where I was and I knew these beings were my family. And they took me to a big pyramid made of lights where I got downloaded with this information. I've been sharing this for eight or nine years now. And the results that we've had through the people that have come to our training are mind blowing. I mean, people are getting out from wheelchairs. People are getting their eyesight back disappearing. People that are wheelchair bound with stage five two or three months later, their markers are completely down and they're walking around completely free. People's eyesight's coming back. Fibromyalgia's disappearing, trigeminal neuralgia, heart disease, kidney failure, where people are on dialysis. They don't need dialysis anymore. How is this possible? It's because the information was held in the DNA template. And once we've zapped them with these electrical codes, it's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. And if it doesn't exist anymore, nothing's feeding the symptoms. So the symptoms just simply disappear. Sometimes instantly, sometimes over the course of a couple of months. It's beautiful, it's magical. It blows me away every single time. If you are serious about healing, follow these principles that I've shared in this video. If you are serious about taking it to a whole other level, Go to starmagichealing.org. Visit the facilitator training section. Come to one of our trainings, either online or in person, and let the team and I show you how to completely shift and change the way that you facilitate healing. Or maybe you're a complete beginner and you wanna get into healing. We will show you the way. This training is adaptable for every single human being on planet Earth. We have complete beginners and human beings that have studied Reiki, quantum healing, bioenergy healing, they've been doing it for 50, 60 years. They're old timers, they're veterans. But they come to us because we shift what they're doing, we show them a whole new way. If you're a chiropractor, come to Star Magic and I will show you how to change the skeletal structure, how to manipulate those bones without even touching them. You can even do it at distance. You can change a C-shaped spine or an S-shaped spine to completely straight. We've demonstrated it over and over and over. It sounds a little bit crazy. It sounds a little bit far-fetched. And I didn't used to believe in any of this stuff. I used to think it was for nutters. If you'd have spoke to me about energy healing at distance many years ago, I would have ran a mile. But I've had a few experiences that have taken me on a different trajectory. And when you start to experience this stuff, you can't unsee it. And when you start to see things, <laughs> you wanna go deeper, you wanna explore more. So be the warrior god, be the warrior goddess that you came to planet Earth to be. Be the titan. If you've got your own energy healing business, then you need to get to starmagichealing.org and find out what's next. Because there's always another level. Always another level. You are amazing, beautiful soul. When you do go to starmagichealing.org, remember to check out Infinity. We got some of the best ascension tools on the planet. Hundreds of meditations, light language transmissions, cosmic yoga videos, breath work, mystery school teachings. We got private telegram groups with beautiful souls just like you that are on the same mission. Go and connect with your soul family. We meet every Monday and Wednesday online for activations and meditations. Every second Sunday for Fearless Focus, where we set incredible challenges to help us work with our inner God spark, that diamond flame, that infinite source intelligence, to help you become the very best version of you that you can possibly be, to unlock and unleash that superhuman potential. So wherever you are on this beautiful planet, go out and love your sisters and your brothers fiercely, and ferociously. <laughs> Hug them tightly and never be the first to let go. Shine your light, speak your truth, and make up this human game with your own rules. And I'll see you again real soon, beautiful soul. One love, one heart, one human family. Peace out.